When it comes to the world's financial system, many people are excluded, robbing banks of potential customers and countries of economic growth. And women are excluded more than men. In fact, while the number of bank accounts worldwide increased from 2011 to 2014, the gender gap has not budged. Without access to financial services, women face obstacles at every step. Where women live, the type of work they perform, and how communities view their role all create barriers to access to financial services. To remove these barriers, we need better data. Better, sex-disaggregated data gives us insight into who is accessing and using financial products and how to identify new markets. It can also help make the case for focusing on women and creating policy interventions. Many countries are working on closing the gender gap in financial inclusion, and getting the data is a key step. For example, Chile has collected sex-disaggregated data from banks since 2001. This data has revealed gender differences in access and usage of banking products, making it possible to target women as a distinct customer base. In Malaysia, sex-disaggregated data from financial service providers enabled the central bank to establish programs that helped move the needle on women's financial inclusion. And in Tanzania, expanding a national financial database to include gender data from banks will allow the government to create initiatives to help more women access banking products. Collecting and using gender data is a first step towards increasing financial inclusion, which will benefit banks, clients, and countries. So when it comes to the world's full financial picture, it pays to have better data. From everyone, for everyone.